Hi guys, this is Serge from physistude.com with the video uh, sex about the integration of WooCommerce on the Physis theme. And in previous videos we have already configured the shop. Uh, we added WooCommerce, uh, WooCommerce integrator and uh, added the boxes uh, to display the uh, shop pages and single products. We have also detected the visual bugs and fixed them. And in this video, I'm going to show you uh, the options panel that you have exclusively on the Thesis theme and WooCommerce Thesis Integrate plugin. So, as you see on this shop page, I have already created several products uh, that are displayed on the main shop page, and you also may see some, uh, how the individual products are displayed. Uh, you see the related products section. So. Um, as you guys might notice on WooCommerce API, uh, there are some options that you may control the number of uh, thumbnails in the row uh, on the singular product pages, or you may control the display of products on your uh, shop pages. Uh, but to access them, you need to do uh, some PHP and CSS coding. Uh, well, not anymore because on the thesis theme and the WooCommerce thesis integrator plugin you have an, a new options panel under WooCommerce settings which is called design store options so uh, when you guys go to that page you will see that you have uh, several options available to you to control the basics of the layout on your shop pages uh, let me explain what you have here. So you have the product display options with how many products uh, will be displayed on the index page, how many products will be displayed per row, and how many product thumbnails will be displayed in the uh, product gallery here. Then uh, you have the uh, product display enhancements with uh, centering the product elements. So you may center your uh, product titles, the uh, ratings, the price, and but buttons. Uh, then you have the control over how the related products are displayed. You may disable this section, or you may uh, control how many uh, products will be displayed on a single page, and uh, how many products in a row will be displayed here. Uh, for the moment, as you see by default, WooCommerce is outputting only two products here. And then you have the control over uh, upsells. Uh, you may disable it as well and control how many uh, products will be displayed on the page and per row. And also there is a new option which is not available under WooCommerce is uh, to lock the reviews. Uh, this actually uh, disables the adding of reviews for the products when the user is not, not logged in. So, uh, how, uh, how to use this options panel and uh, what will be the results. So, uh, let me uh, set, for example, uh, the uh, products per page to maximum of 8 products. Right now we have 9, the uh, available number is 10 for the moment, so you may set it to whatever you like. I would like to have it 8 products, for, the, for example. So I just set 8 here and I set my options. So you will see that this page will get paginated. So here you go. And you have the WooCommerce page navigation enabled here. That's why I was talking that uh, probably you will need to remove the uh, thesis boxes for uh, page navigation. So. Uh, the other option is to center the elements here, uh, because right now they are aligned to the left and I would like to have them centered so that the products lo look a bit better. Uh, I just simply click this checkbox and I save my options. And when I refresh my page you will see the result. So everything is centered. Uh, but actually what I would like to do is to display only three products per row. It depends on your layout, but you have the control over it as well. So you go to WooCommerce settings, 
you find the number products per row. Um, by default, it is four, so you may set it to three, and you save your options. So you see that uh, you will have only three products per row. Uh, actually, the plugin uh, does the necessary PHP and CSS for you. You just have to uh, choose uh, how many products you would like to display and in what way. So uh, I will switch back the ninth product here. Uh, like this. Okay. So here you go. You have nine products on the page with a three per row. As you guys noticed, the images are quite smallish, so if you would like to have a bigger images here, you just need to check what is the maximum available size for it. You may do it with uh, the, um, web development tools on Google Chrome. Uh, so you just uh, check the width of the product box, which is 186 pixels. So the maximum width of your image may be 186 pixels, and you may control it on the WooCommerce catalog page here, all the way in the bottom. Uh, just mind if you have already uploaded the images and you change the image sizes here, uh, you need to regenerate your thumbnails. So you have a link to download the plugin to do that, or you may use a Jax thumbnail rebuild plugin, which is quite good, and that's what I'm using. Uh, so uh, let's get to our singular product page. As you see, we have uh, four available thumbnails on this page, so I would like to display them for the row. So uh, what I do, I go to my uh, Fizzy Store options, and I just set the number to be four. And I save changes, so when I refresh the page, you will see that the display has changed. Here you go, we have four, uh, which looks a bit better. Then, the related products. Uh, as we have three products per row here on the shop page, I would like to have the same layout for related products here. So what I do, I go to my uh, WooCommerce settings, uh, these store options. And I just said that I would like to see uh, three products per row. And just make sure that this number is bigger than uh, the number of products per row, or is equal at least, otherwise you will have only two products displayed. So you save changes, you refresh page, and you will see three products. Here you go, which looks much better. Then, uh, what is upsells? Uh, when you go, for example, to a product uh, which has uh, some related products to it, uh, and you have set them in the uh, product options, you will see that you have the upsells here. Those products, uh, you may control them when you go to the product page here, in the product options. Uh, you have the control over the uh, related product. So uh, on the linked products, you just uh, enter the product name here and it will suggest what product you would like to have there. So uh, let us just check the uh, product page. Yeah, so uh, as well, I would like to have three products per row here. So what I do, I just set the numbers to be 3, and I say changes. So here you go. Uh, this looks much better. Then the last option is the uh, lock for reviews. Uh, when I check this option, and I'm logged out from the website, I cannot add my uh, review to the product. Uh, let me get back to that page. So when I go, for example, on the product page, and I see the reviews, uh, when I click the button Add Review, it suggests me to be logged in to post a comment. So here you go. 
and when you log in you are able to add a leave a review for the product okay so I, I just give the same comment twice um, as review So here you go. So you have your reviews uh, enabled here. Uh, well, uh, once you have installed and activated the plugin, uh, if WooCommerce is active, you will see these fizzy store options with all available options uh, to you. Just mind the image sizes, and that's it. So in next video, uh, I'm going to show you how to. Uh, control the uh, product page on shop. Uh, sorry, let me get it to shop here. I'm going to show you how to add some introductory content here, uh, and then in the following videos, we're gonna. Uh, I'm going to show you how to control the permalinks for your products and how to control what is displayed in this breadcrumb. So cheers guys, see you in the next video.